Rev up your engines. So, how about... I'm Seth Scotty. Which car is good as the first car? A Honda Civic 2016 or a Toyota FJ Cruiser 2012? Which is good and why? Okay, this may shock people, <laughs> but I tell you to buy the Honda Civic versus the Toyota in that choice because the Honda Civic is well-made cars. 2016, it certainly is relatively new. It's going to get fantastic gas mileage, and they can last a really long time. The FJ Cruiser is a very good vehicle, but they stopped making them. And one of the reasons I believe Toyota stopped making them is because the gas hogs. Those are high up in the air. They got a big V6 engine in them, and they get horrible gas mileage. You're going to get so much better gas mileage in the Civic than the Cruiser. They will both last. But... Also check in in your insurance rates. You're going to find the insurance rates for that Civic is going to be so much lower than that FJ Cruiser. And if you find you're a younger driver where your rates are high with that uh, Civic, you're going to save a ton of money on insurance too. And it's still a very good car. But they're really completely different cars. You're talking about a little big car for driving around or a big SUV. So you got to decide what do you want to get first. Elton Knight says, Scotty, what do you think about the new SUVs Jeep Cherokee? Do you think they're worth the money? I mean, they're carrying the name Cherokee, but not uh meant for those that are Cherokees, the Indians. <laughs> well, a little humor there. Okay. I would never buy anything that Chrysler makes anymore, period, since Fiat bought them. They always had problems to begin with. My grandfather was a mechanic before me, and he didn't like Chrysler's back in those days. And I never really liked them, but when Fiat bought them in, their quality's gone even further down. Hell, I mean, it might have been a big mistake for Fiat, too, to buy them, because I read recently that Fiat is even contemplating about leaving the United States with Fiats, pulling the Fiats out, because they have such horrible sales, because they're such horrible cars, that hardly anybody's buying the Fiats and that they'll keep the Chrysler brand, but they'll drop trying to sell Fiats because it's such horrible sales. And the new ones, hey, the quality's just lower. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, I had customers with Cherokees from decades ago, and they were, they could be pretty uh, bulletproof machines with straight six-cylinder engines, but even before Fiat bought them, they put a lot of technology computers in, and they had nothing but problems with those electronics, especially the transmissions, which were weak. I would never buy one of those. Martha Jackson says, I have no trouble codes or check engine light, but the transmission seems to be slipping in my vehicle. I was wondering if it could be a solenoid or a sensor. Well, it could be a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of times, it's just the transmission's wearing out, and you need to buy another one when they slip, unfortunately. But as I said earlier, you find a guy like me that is a dealer-level scan tool. We plug it in. Then we take it for a road test. And then when it slips, our machine is very sophisticated. It records 45 seconds at a time. So once it slips, we just push stop. Then it saves that data. We look at that data. Then we analyze it. And you want to pray that it's a solenoid or something and not that it needs an overhaul. But unfortunately, most of the time when they're slipping, either you're low on fluid and you need fluid or they're worn out internally and they need some serious expensive work. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.